save the queen. Shoot, I messed up. Oh, dang. That, that was bad. I didn't mean to do that, but... Anyways, everyone, um... Uh, welcome back. Um, I'm still having to speak low, because I don't want to wake up my mom right now. So, um... Let's just go into this game. Let's dive right in. So, um, this game, this time around, I think I need a bigger army. Because I'm not even up to 100 yet, and we're starting to fall behind pretty bad in militaristic power. So, I'm going to start upgrading that to 4. I'm going to build 4 units. I can only build those in North America, so I'll build 2 more of those. Um, build about 4, 5, 6. 6 of those. 1, 2. 2 of those. Two of these, because I usually end up dividing all this, so we want to make sure we have two, and yeah, that should be good for standard army. So, anyways, we are upgrading our in army right now, and as you guys last know, I built a kind of mini economy right here. Um, debating if I should also do something over here. They don't have enough rubber, which isn't necessarily good. They also have door neck gear, which also isn't good, so maybe I should also build an electrical gear factory, that way this can start being supplied instant gear. Now we don't have to go across state. That might be a really good idea. Um, what else do we need? Um, I guess a lot of other standard things. Like I realize we don't really have that many regular clothes factories, so I'm gonna build a little bit more because we're gonna need some more just for our regular troops. And um, you know, while I was looking at this and thinking about this, I was thinking, you know, um, I've came up with this little story, guys. I'm, I'm hope you guys will like it. So basically, what I thought of is that. I think the British kind of want us to take over China because um, basically because since they took over India and you know they've been doing like their own little annexations they wanted you know the one of their childs either Canada or the United States to do some kind of major colonial colonization and you know take over this other big state well America didn't want to do that because they want to be the kind of American self so um, I guess when I started doing my own Chinese like conquest they thought they thought, you know, they should help us out and make this kind of like the the Canadian jewel. Um, just like as the British own all of India, we will have the jewel of the Canadian Empire, the Chinese, the Japanese own, not Japanese, Ch the Canadianese own everything of the Chinese. Okay, that's what I meant. So yeah, I think, I think it was destiny that we were meant to take over China, so. Yeah, last episode, as you guys know, we took over this little region right over here, and... I better actually move my soldiers back into position because they're all kind of weirdly spread out. Yeah, let's move these guys right over here. Um, yeah, you guys are good. Yeah, let's move this army right over there. Move this army right over there. Okay, that should be good enough for spreading out regions. So yeah, we're just now going to take a good amount of time of this episode just burning in for me. I mean, we really don't have much to really deal with. We just have to make sure that... Germany is apparently not ally, and we have some Canadian communists. Okay, alliance? Sure. Why not, Germany? And our population, as again stated, is 47.00 million! I mean, that is insane. Although, I already know it's not mostly from our population, so no one has to point this out, but... Because our population, our actual population that actually works and votes, is only about 4.4% of the actual total population, which is kind of sad, but... That's still very good that we have such a huge population of people that pay taxes to us. And I don't even know what this is. Why? I, I don't know what that is, but I'm pretty sure they're very important. So, anyways, I'm looking at the major issues, dominant issues, and apparently the major issues... Laissez-faire. <laughs> um, the major issues that are going to probably be very, very dormant in most of our veins is a 10-hour workday. Um, once I can, I think I'll probably will enact an hour workday because as I've said through this Canadian Let's Play, this is this campaign is more about um, being very, very open-minded and we want to make sure this is the best for the people. We are for the people, by the people, and for the country that we do this for. So, you know, more things. I mean, I do like do a lot of this kind of stuff, but I mean, we still want to be the... Good, so let's see how we... Dang it! How did the Germans beat me again? Okay, I'm, I'm doing pretty good in telephones, so I'm, I'm happy with that. We're doing pretty good in telephones. So, we have that market cornered, so I'm gonna... Hmm, I'm kind of worried now about the telephone market, because I don't think it'll be as great as I thought it was gonna be. So maybe what I should do is... build a paper factory here. Oh, we have some paper. Um... Hmm... This has an ammo, so I'm assuming we should build some small arms factory right here. 
that way we have instant connection and we have lots of railroads going okay over here we have a fertilizer plant a lumber mill small arms artillery you know what would be good here an ammo shop like this would be a great place for an ammo shop also we should get a liquor distillery because we don't really have any of these but and honestly an ammo shop would be really good right here um like here i'll build a liquor distillery because we are i or winery distillery sorry because we can't build like a distillery because i think we've already built one but yeah it seems like we have a good thing going here um i'll start extending my factories once okay everyone if you guys know i'll start extending my factories once i have like a lot of them built because right now i'm still there's still a lot of space to like just build up my economy which i'm trying to do because my industrial score right now stinks and we really need to improve that especially since canada is probably one of the most leading nations in terms of population we want to make sure we keep up with everyone else, so um, I'm going to finish off the rest of Tier 3 technology and I'll start moving on to Tier 4. So, let's just finish up with this impression, Impressionism um, bonus thing so we can get it, and yeah. Um, yeah and I think, I'm pretty sure we weaken both Gunzai, Quinya, and all these guys pretty much to the point where they'll never be able to fight me. Or never be able to not civilize so that we'll always be able to take them over. And we gotta... <gasps> oh, no way! No way! Okay, this is... Okay, okay, okay. Remove nation from a great power sphere of this. Do you want to do this? Yes! Yes! Oh, yes! Okay, we finally removed the United States. Oh my goodness, that took way too long, honestly. So now the United States is finally out, and now we all have to do is just ban them or, you know, um, a decrease opinion of them by one, and then we can go to war with these guys. Oh, but uh, infamy is really bad. Yeah, and we, I don't think we have any more nations we can release, because I pretty much, like, took over the rest of them. Well, I pretty much released all my nations already, I think. Let me see. Um... Yeah, basically these are all nations I've already conquered, unless I want to release Korea. Oh no. Korea supplies us with a lot of our coal and iron. So I don't think we have any coal of iron in actual China. Let me see. Coal. Let's see. Well, we do have some in Manchu, but... Yeah, it's mostly in Queen... Queen Yai. Okay, so maybe, maybe we could get rid of... Okay, what about iron? Where would we get another source of iron? So we do have some iron right there. And most of the irons, there's actually a good, wow, there's actually a very good amount of deposit right there of iron. That is good, that's, it's actually, actually pretty good compared to the rest of the world. Yes, it is. In fact, there's only other, one other place in the world that has that much iron, and that's Prague. Which I did not know. So, hmm. I'm, I'm thinking about it, but do I really want the Koreans to be running free again? Three. <laughs> three, everyone. Because I don't know if Canada can handle, oh no. Okay, I was, I was dreading the day when I'd have to... Oh. Hmm. You know... What is this for? Is this something stupid or is this actually something good? Um... Uh, the German war demands this. Well, you know... I'm gonna pay you back, Germany, because since you guys didn't join my war for a petty little conquest of this, I'm gonna make sure I pay you back by not even joining your war. Okay? See how you guys feel about it when you guys don't get an ally to join the war. And yes, I don't forget. And yes! We are the first people to the North Pole! And I would have been really mad if we were not the first ones to the North Pole. And we just gained, like, a bunch of prestige. That's good. And we just got more... This could help... No, it... This... I feel like this would just be a real hindrance to us. In honesty, because we just... Russia would just mobilize and... I mean, the Germans are basically handling it right now by themselves. They, they don't really need us. I mean, even with... This could also turn really badly for us, so I don't want to do that. Mm, yeah. Sorry, Germany. I'm sorry, but it's just not a war. It's not a war. I'll... I'll right-click you out now, so you guys know I'm not joining. Okay, and yeah. So that was kind of a sad decision I had to make, but honestly, we don't... We don't really need to be in that war. That wasn't really our war. We're still not... It was for a petty colony that was going against three great powers, which wasn't really smart. And I think it's now time for us to upgrade our 
uh, action, so, um, what we need to do is now, since we have this, we need to make sure we get gas attack ca capabilities, so, what we need is actually to be at a war, so, maybe what we'll do actually is maybe we'll go back to war with Germany, I mean, maybe we'll ally with Germany, wait, 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 wait a minute, we shouldn't get that first, we should get, um, anti-rationalism, because that will give us a uh, big gigantic boost in terms of military, okay, and I'm hoping the Germans will survive, and they're not even that mad that we didn't join the war, I think they understand that we just could not do it, but maybe we might actually join the war later, or maybe we might join a different war, because we definitely do need to get gas attack defense capabilities and gas attacks, as we all know, as we all know, gas attacks are quite important. Okay, we got more and more of my army being made. And I just realized, be, if I join the war, there'd be all these Russian troops just about swarming me. With 72 men, that would not be pleasant. Like at all. Okay. okay. Yeah, you guys don't belong here. I have to make sure that I don't... Like... Yeah, I, I think the rest of these people are about the same. I have no troops in Tibet. What the heck? You guys go right there. I need troops in Tibet. Protecting the Tibetians. We make sure those Tibetians are protected. So the news of the world, the worst newspaper in the in the world. So prices rise. That's good. Okay. Morocco fears our might. Okay. And how's our economy doing in terms of like everyone? Everyone seems to be doing okay. I think. Um, the poor are definitely getting nailed to the board. Not really my problem though, because I'm not really doing too much to them and. Actually, since we have such a great economy, I think I'm actually going to start tariffing backwards. Because honestly, we have such a great economy right now. Actually, I'm, I'm going to leave at least... We need to at least have 2,000 in our bank, so I'll be tariffing 16,000 backwards. I'll be spending money on our economy severely so that it works. Because I do not do tariffs, which somebody actually in one of the comments said, Raise the tariffs! And I was like, no. <laughs> Just no. I... I do not waste tariffs on any of my games, I just don't consider it a long term investment or anything good. Except the life, blame the farmers, except the loss. I mean, it's 40 grams of tea, and we're the biggest producers of tea, so we probably have the biggest stock of tea. Okay. Uh... Okay, so Mexico just decided to break away from me. Is Canada going to be nice about this? No. <laughs> we aren't. We aren't going to be nice about a nation like, uh, okay, at the sphere. Yay, Chile is not our influence. So, um, they want to break away from us. Um, let me see. Oh, dang, America's really hating us right now. Okay, what I was going to do is going to try to see if I can get military access with America, but I don't think America would be very happy. Oh, and I know why America hates me, because I fought them so long for that other region, and actually, we can stop fighting them for Ecuador. We don't have to go head to toe with them anymore, so let's stop the Equatorian advance. So when does this cause this belly run out? Okay. When does this cause this belly for us run out? Wait, did we not get cause this belly for them? Let's see. Um no we did not get a cause this belly. I thought we did get a cause this belly against them. I guess not, so then I guess it was just pointless. What did we just join that for? Huh, I don't know. Okay. But anyways, we have our economy growing like weeds, and we can actually start upgrading some of this. Let's just let's just upgrade this one city because it seems to be doing really well. And we have a rubber rubber instance. Rubber is definitely. We need to find some source of rubber. Which you guys are probably yelling at me right now, saying, "Oh, there's a source of rubber here." Well, problem is, is I can't see this. Okay, this seems like there's some conflict between the UK and them. Seems like they want more land. That's always fine. I mean, I really don't care if they if they take land from that little state. Okay, we have machine parts building right here. So let's see, what else do we need? Um, a canned distillery might be good. Might be good. Okay, as I say, I built an automotive factory in every single one of my places. A fabric factory might also be good. Because we actually do need some fabrics, which requires machine parts, cement. I'm pretty sure we have a cement. Yeah, we have a cement factory building. And yeah, okay. We need to we need to keep building at least one factory in each single region. A glass factory. Yeah, let's build a glass factory. Okay, over here. This place is actually booming. So I'll build an airplane factory right over there. Because we are actually, I think, the leading producers in airplanes. Nope. Germany. 
Why am I not surprised the Germans beat me in airplanes? But at least the UK is not beating us in terms of telephones. Wait, why is that? Why are the UK not beating us in terms of telephones? Did they get off the world market? No, they're not off the world market, so why are they... I don't know. It's not a question I guess I should be asking. But forced to repay this. Okay. Revolution in Mexico. Yay! Mexicos have been freed from my tyranny. I guess that's them. Okay. So now I can do this. Okay. Let me decrease opinion of the United States. Yes! Okay, so that probably did not increase my relationships with the United States either. So let me see, how are the United States relations? Yeah, we really need to get this back up. Because that is desperately going low. So I'm just going to spend a couple minutes on this. But now since they are no longer in the sphere of America, we can definitely start thinking about taking over that entire region. No, wait, no, I don't want to decrease relationships. I want to increase relationships. Brilliant. Excellent. We are doing great. And yeah, this is just yeah. And then, oh man, tariffs, tariffs are just fifty percent socialist. Why not? Socialism has basically taken over the entire upper class, which is why I wanted the voting ideologies. Of my people are basically twenty nine percent socialist, and the actual ideologies of my people are more conservative. But hey, huh, we don't care about them. We just care about the voters. Okay. We got the papers of the news world. Yay. Okay. We got more buildings. Yeah, we got a lot of builders. I mean, we should... At some point, Canada should start... Start be entering the uh, main stage in terms of economics. Because we do have a lot of regions for our age. And uh, I wonder if the Germans won their war. And... Quinn Yai. Um... Let's see, did the Americans try to do something? Let me just see. Are they trying to come back? Let's see. No, they are completely defeated, but just to be sure, is there anyone else that we could... Okay, let's banish the, uh... Let's banish the, uh, Japanese from this land, too. That way we can just do whatever we want. Okay, so for next episode, people... Um, we will be starting our conquest of Quinya. It's taking us, uh, roughly, I think, seven years? Seven years? Eight years? Somewhere around there to do this. But we are finally ready to do it. We're finally ready to finally declare war. We have almost everyone we need to be declared war. And Germany, I want you guys to be my allies. You guys are my allies. Yeah. You guys are my allies. Yeah, see? Germany doesn't mind that we betrayed him because they know in, in the bottom of the heart they betrayed us at one point too. So we're cool now. Germany Germany and Canada are cool. And with that, everyone, I want to end the episode. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.